<laughs> I just don't know why people can't be more like us. Hi you guys and welcome back to the Creme Kitchen. It is a beautiful day out here in the 50s, sun is shining. So what does that make me think of in the middle of winter? Barbecue. What is better than barbecued ribs? I am going to show you the most fantastic rib recipe ever. So let's get started. Before we started recording, I decided to get these going. It's two racks of spare ribs. I don't typically use the baby back ribs. I love the spare ribs. So I got some ribs, I put them in a roasting pan. I got my favorite beer and I poured, you wanna pour two for each rack. And then you just layer some red onion over the top and that's it. Marinate for at least two hours. Now what we want to do is kind of lift these up and out of our beer and onion marinade. The next thing we want to do is get some minced garlic and put it all over the top. I like a lot of garlic. Chompy, I love you. We got that part done. Just divide evenly between both racks of ribs and spread on. It's very glamorous to do this. And then next you want to season with some salt and pepper and then I want you to get your favorite rib rub and sprinkle that right on top. Just lightly season. Super important part that I failed to tell you about. Get a rack inside your roasting pan and just lay it over the top of the beer and the onions, okay? And now it's time for your favorite rib rub. I know you've seen me use this before. I love the Famous Dave's Double Spit, but I'm gonna do one of each. A spicier one, and then just the regular Famous Dave's rib rub. How's that look? Pretty good, right? Now I want you to take them on your really hot grill. I want your grill on high. We're not keeping them on there, but I'll show you what comes up next. Once I get my ribs on the hot grill, you just want to get a nice grill mark on it, maybe a couple minutes each side. After that, we're gonna get them back into our roasting pan with that amazing onion beer marinade. Make sure your rack's in there. Here's what's next. All we need to do now is have our oven preheated to 275 degrees and wrap this in foil. Low and slow, people. It will be amazing. I've never made ribs like this before. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Serious? Yeah. I was just, and half the time I had an idea in my head of what I wanted to do. And then I was doing, I was like, oh shit, that's not what I thought I was going to do. Anyway. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so the ribs have been in my low cooking oven for two hours. Let's take them out and see what they look like. Gorgeous. Look at the caramelization that's happening here, you guys. This is exactly what you want it to look like. Next step, you want to put your barbecue sauce on top. Get your favorite kind. Get a nice thick layer. No need to brush or anything because all we're going to do now is cover this back up, crank up the heat to 325 and let it go for another half hour. And by half hour, I mean an hour, because the last half hour we use no foil. Let's see how our ribs are doing now. The foil's been off about 30, 45 minutes. Let's take a look. They smell so good. Oh my goodness. Look at these beauties. 
We're gonna let these rest just a few minutes before we cut into them and I'll show you how cute you can serve them. Let's grab one of these and see what we can do. I'm gonna take my kitchen shears for this. When I serve these, I like to cut sections of one and two ribs because sometimes people want just one. I've got a couple hungry boys over here that I think would be willing to give these a shot just to kind of let me know how they are. This is how you're gonna serve them. You have to have extra sauce. And you know me, I like a little bit of color on the plate. Some chopped fresh chives go right over the top. Have you seen anything more gorgeous? I mean, you guys, this is man food, but not only is it man food, I would eat this. Ava would eat this, right, Ava? <laughs> so let's get a couple guys in here and see what they think. We've got a special guest in the kitchen. It's my brother. Look who's here. Hi, Brian. I love you. I've been cooking for him for a while, so he's used to this. And of course I give them the most messiest thing to eat on camera, right? Oh yeah, they're good, they're good. Wow. They're okay. so hot, could you let them cool down? Jeez! <laughs> now just take them out of the oven and feed them to us. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an incredible time making these ribs. They're amazing, they're easy. You got the time, you better do it. And if you do, let me know like, subscribe, check out our website. Thanks again. Bye.